Hello, welcome to Quantum Online Academy. This is your Dr. Nagaraju Pendam. Now we are discussing about the BSc Physics second year paper 3 third semester exam strategy. How we have to follow the exam strategy, how we have to get the good marks in our examination in paper 3 in semester 3 exam once you have to see that. According to your paper 3, according to TA, Telangana Higher Education Department, your syllabus title is, paper 3 title is, which title is? Electromagnetic Theorem. This is very, very important. This paper is very, very important. You will get the questions, many questions uh, from SEPTAP also. DRDO people will conduct one uh, scientific officer exam, that is a SEPTAP exam. In the SEPTAP exam, you will get the more marks from electromagnetic theory. This paper for competitive exams also, this is very, very important. Please concentrate on this paper. You get the command in this paper. You are able to get the marks in your competitive examination. Right? So, here onwards, you have to learn this paper. First unit is consists of electrostatistics only. Electrostatistics based on the electric charge carriers, entire electrostatistics uh, is forming. Here, two topics are there. One is electric field, another one is the electric potential. In electric field, uh, uh, what is electric field? The concept of the electric field lines, electric flux, electric flux, uh, how we have to calculate the electric flux, gas law, by using the gas law, what is the gas law? Gauss integral and differential forms, application of the linear plane and charge distributions and find the electric field, conservative nature of the electric field and irrotational field. So, this syllabus is there in the electric field, right? In electric field, that one. Next, second one, electric potential. The concept of the electric potential, relation between the electric field and electric potential. Next, electric potential energy of a system of charges, energy density and electric field, calculation of the potential from the electric field for a spherical charge distribution, right? So, this is the content of your uh, unit number 1, right? How the questions will come from unit number 1, you have to see. Define the electric field lines and electric flux. Suppose you have to take a positive charge, right? So, some field lines can form based on the charge. Maybe these field lines away from the positive charge, right? If you have to take a negative charge, from here also field lines can come towards the negative charge, right? So, the field lines can pass towards the negative charge side. What is the electric flux? Suppose you have to take this window or area, the electric field lines are passing through this unit particular area. So, this part line, field lines, we call it as the electric flux. You have to define that. Next, define the conservative nature of the electric field. Del cross E is equal to 0. Such type of field, we call it as a conservative nature of the electric field. What is the irrotational? If it is rotational, del cross E is existing. If it is irrotational, del cross E is equal to 0, such type of field. So, we call it as a irrotational field. So, derive the relation between the E and V. What is the relation between the E and V? A e, V is equal to E into D or E into R. Otherwise, E is equal to V by D such type of relation is there. So, that relation you have to derive. Derive the energy density in the electric field. What is the energy density in the electric field? Energy density of E is equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught into E square. This formula you have to derive. So, that is the short questions you have to expect from this first unit. Next, long questions once you have to take. State and prove the Gauss law and gas differential form and gas integral form in electrostatistic. What is the gas law? Integral E dot ds is equal to rho by epsilon naught. So, this is the gas law. Otherwise, uh, 
rho by epsilon naught del cross del dot E is equal to rho by epsilon naught uh, Q by epsilon naught you have to take from here rho, rho by epsilon naught uh, this one is a differential law these things you have to learn find the electric field for a spherical charge distribution if it is a spherically charge distributed throughout the spherically charge distributed means uh, throughout the volume you have to charge distribute you have to find the electric field uh, uh, outside uh, on the surface and inside the charge distribution that one you have to get you may get the question derive the relation for a potential energy of a system of charge you have to write the potential energy of a system of charges how you have to get the summation r is equal to 1 to n 1 by 4 5 epsilon naught into qi by ri this formula you have to derive calculate the electric potential for a spherical charge distribution you have to take the spherical charge distribution already you find the electric field from the electric field now you have to find the uh, potential by using this formula v is equal to minus integral e dot dr find the electric field for a plane and linear charge distribution if it is charge is distributed uh, so uh, around the line if it charge distributed around a plane what is the electric field how you have to get the electric field that is also very very important those questions also you able to get in your theory examination this is the important questions from unit number one right now unit number two you have to see unit number uh, two uh, from paper three electromagnetic theory only magnetostatics there we are learning electrostatistics here we have to learn magnetostatics from magnetostatistics what is the syllabus once you have to see concept of magnetic field there electric field we are learning here magnetic field we are learning. next magnetic flux so here bayard sevat law and bayard sevat law due to the application of the bayard sevat law due to a straight line current carrying conductor right Ca current carrying conductor force on a point of a charge in the magnetic field properties of the magnetic field curl and divergence of the magnetic field solenoidal field solenoidal field you have to learn integration from integration form of the ampere's law this is application of the ampere's law field due to a straight circular straight circular and solenoidal current energy stored in the magnetic field right magnetic energy in terms of the current inductance magnetic force between the two current carrying conductors magnetic field intensity ballistic galvanometer this is very very important torque on a current in a loop in a uniform magnetic field working principle working principle of the ballistic galvanometer current and charge sensitivity electromagnetic damping critical damping resistance this is the big unit maybe the syllabus is huge but even though I am simplifying the questions once you have to see how I am simplifying you have to see write the concept of the magnetic field magnetic field you have to take the magnetic field how we have to get the magnetic field for a circular loop you have to take apply the current the due to the uh, flowing the current creates the magnetic field that magnetic field you have to learn from this and what is the magnetic flux wherever you go the flux is same suppose you have to take a particular unit area from this particular unit area uh, how many magnetic lines passing through this particular unit area you will get the magnetic flux uh, so that is the phi b derive the solenoidal field what is the solenoidal del dot b is equal to zero such type of field we call it as a solenoidal field write the differential and integral forms of a ampere's law ampere law so del dot b is equal to del cross b is equal to mu naught i so this is the ampere's law or integral b dot dl is equal to uh, mu naught i this one also ampere's law so this ampere's law you have to derive the ampere's law you have to derive the ampere law that one you have to see next uh, define the bayard sevat law b is equal to mu naught by 4 5 
आइडियल साइन थीटा इज आइडियल साइन थीटा इज डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर इंटीग्रल आइडियल साइन थीटा इज डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वायर दिस इज द बायर्ड से वाटला सो ड्यू टू द बायर्ड से वाटला यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट यू हैव टू टेक दिस स्ट्रेट वायर करंट कैरिंग टू दिस करंट कंडक्टर यू एट एट सर्टेन डिस्टेंस आर डिस्टेंस व्हाट इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू ए स्ट्रेट करंट कैरिंग द कंडक्टर इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट आई इज डिवाइडेड बाय 2 फाइव आर so this principle you have to derive from that next not only that derive the stored energy in the magnetic field stored energy in the magnetic field is equal to 1 by 2 li square so this one you have to derive this uh, uh, magnetic field due to a uh, stored energy due to the magnetic field derive the magnetic force between two current carrying the conductors magnetic force between the two current conductor mu not by uh, 4 phi into i1 i2 is divided by d is there so this principle you have to derive this force a principle you have to derive so this is the force between the uh, two current carrying conductor explain the ballistic galvanometer ballistic galvanometer and detail with its damping this very very important question so you able to get in your uh, competitive examination clear this is very very important from second unit you able to get these many questions what is the third unit you have to see the third unit is electromagnetic induction electromagnetic waves here two parts are there one is electromagnetic induction another one is electromagnetic waves how we have to get this one what is the syllabus is once you have to see faraday laws of induction that is the differential form of the faraday law and integral form of the faraday law del cross b is equal e is equal to minus do b by do t this is the differential form of a faraday law this faraday law how we have to get you have to learn from here next is lenz law this is very very important this lenz law and self inductance and mutual inductance continuity equation modification of ampere's law that ampere's law by using the displacement current he modified maxwell equations maxwell equations in vacuum electric medium boundary conditions plane wave equation transverse nature of the electromagnetic waves velocity of light in vacuum in medium pointing theorem so this is your uh, third unit content what are the questions we have to expect from the third unit you have to see now what are the questions you have to expect first short questions you able to see explain about the lenz law this is very very important what is the lenz law this law is uh, con con conservation of en conservation of energy or uh, conservation of charge what is it indicates they will ask like that derive the equation of continuity uh, derive the equation of continuity equation so you have to derive it write the maxwell's equations in displacement current also that is a displacement current d the displacement current is equal to charge per unit area so this one you have to define define the faraday's law of induction so these questions you may get as a short question what are the long questions how we have to expect the long questions once you have to see derive the differential and integral forms of the faraday law so many times this question came in your theory examination next explain the transversive nature of the electromagnetic field electric field is a transversive nature of the magnetic field is a transversive nature of a propagation vector how we have to explain you have to explain by using the theory state and prove the pointing theorem this theorem is very very important this theorem is energy conservation theorem right which theorem it is energy conservation theorem so state and prove the pointing theorem pointing vector is there so you have to derive that one also derive the plane wave equation and discuss the boundary conditions of magnetic field so not only this you have to learn the self inductance and mutual inductance also you have to learn along with this right this is very very important and easy from mathematical derivations are there 
you are able to learn easily easily only now this is uh, fourth unit is very dead easy unit wearing and alternating current and network theorem two parts are there in wearing and alternating current purely differential equation form once you have to see growth and decay currents in lr circuit cr circuit lcr circuit by using the dc only you have to take critical damping alternating current relation between the current and voltage in pure resistance conductance inductor vector diagrams you have to take this is ac this one is dc this one for ac power in ac circuits lcr series and parallel resonance circuits q factor ac motors and dc motors single stage and three phase only basic ideas this one is a wearing and alternating current right maybe if you have to the sec in sec paper also these parts you able to learn next next network theorems how many theorems they gave passive elements one who element does not depend on the does not give the energy it is depending upon the external source and giving the uh, heat or energy such type of element we call it as a passive element power sources active elements what is the active element it can supply it can give and the such energy such type of uh, source we call it as a active element suppose battery is a active element network models t model phi model i is there, there that is a transformation model here three four uh, theorems are there one theorem is superposition theorem one more theorem is the thevenin's theorem and norton's theorem reciprocal theorem and uh, uh, maximum power transfer theorem four five theorems you have one more billman theorem also is the reciprocity theorem also is there among these theorems uh, you will get one two three four five theorems are there among these theorems one theorem you will get the long question here long question so many long questions are there once you have to see here draw the three phase ac motor three phase ac motor diagram you have to draw just a brief introduction that's why you have to draw otherwise single phase also they will ask write the vector diagram of a pure r pure c and pure l through vector diagrams of e voltage and current i voltage and current so if you want to take here v you have to take because if you will get the confusion uh, you have to follow v that is a voltage and current of vector diagrams of a pure resistance pure capacitor and pure inductor define the time constant of rc circuit and rl circuit if you have to take the time constant of rc circuit is equal to rc time constant of rl circuit is equal to l by r those things you have to define so define the quality factor what is the quality factor q is equal to resonant frequency is divided by delta f so this one is a quality factor that value you have to define how you have to get the quality factor so the omega not cr 1 by omega not cr those value omega not l by r those values you have to find out that one. next long questions how you have to get derive the growth and decay of the charge growth and decay charge of rc circuit derive the growth and decay charge of rl current or decay current of rl circuit distinguish between the lcr series and parallel resonant circuits derive the growth and decay of lcr lcr circuits right so you have to learn these four long question you will get uh, these questions in your examination this is very very easy not only this for network theory fifth one also you have to take from network theory any theorem you have to learn any all five theorems within the five theorem any one theorem you will get any one theorem whether it may be superposition theorem or uh, uh, maximum power th transfer theorem or thevenin's or norton's or uh, any one theorem you will get in your theory examination clear so these are the four units are there which books is suitable for you so unified electronics volume 3 electromagnetism one book is there electromagnetism electromagnetism this book you have to learn uh, from this otherwise you have to take a telugu academy book also telugu academy electromagnetism book also you have to take from telugu academy people also publish in that book uh, that book you have to take and you prepare 
maybe next next year onwards we have to make some important whatever the important questions now i gave so those important questions i will teach i will upload in youtube and simultaneously i will upload in the quantum online academy app from that app you have to purchase maybe 50 or 100 maybe cost so you have to purchase and you have to learn from that also not this year maybe next year i have to uh, do this one clear so thank you so thank you you are uh, you have to share my youtube channel to your friends you subscribe my youtube channel please subscribe uh, uh, your subscribe subscriptions are motivation to me so thank you very much